Hey there, Fukushima Truthers, it's Andrew Biss here. Uh, I was making a video to very clearly, hopefully, uh, explain what how the contest works. Um, so, just one more time, uh, explain how you can win this 20 gram uh, gold bar, or this, uh, and or this uh, 10 gram uh, gold bar. Okay, so the contest is in two parts. Two parts, symbolized by this uh, black line here down the middle in dotted line okay so um, now the protest uh, the event is taking place on September 4th September 14 2013 now please mail me uh, communicate to me that you're entering uh, with the message either count me in protest or count me in banner okay Count me in protest for the 20 gram bar and count me in banner for the um, for the banner, the banner contest. Okay, send that, uh, please send that message to me through these uh, avenues, uh, through uh, YouTube, through my YouTube channel, Andrew Abyss, through Facebook on Fukushima Beach, or through email to abyss73 at gmail.com. Please send... Uh, those messages by uh, August 31st, 2013. Um, now, you get the event September 14th, 2013. So, two parts uh, happening both on the same date. Now, the uh, protest, this is uh, my terrible drawing here. The protest, uh, this is like what it may look like. It has to have some sort of sign or small banner. Uh, there's a nuclear sign there, uh, nuclear symbol. And here should be a message, uh, headline could be on Fukushima Beach, Google on Fukushima Beach, or it could be the subheading, um, whatever heading you, main heading you go with should uh, talk about what's happening, like 400 tons of uh, radioactive water a day, or radiation in, in the Pacific, uh, at Google on Fukushima Beach. So as I said before, <laughs> Google on Fukushima Beach should be either the uh, main heading or the subheading. Uh, either one is okay. You can include other search terms like Google Plumegate as well. So, uh, but do include uh, Google on Fukushima Beach somewhere on that signage. Now, these the protest must hand out flyers mentioning these sites. Uh, it's just a short spiel about why you think Fukushima matters. Why it's important. Everybody knows that. But I want you to uh, just briefly explain that. Now the flyers don't have to be any particular size, but they do have to mention these websites. Uh, okay, FukushimaFacts.com, Fukushima Diary, any news, nuclearnews.net. And it must also mention uh, Kevin Blanche's march on Washington Square, uh, which I oh, forgot to write, is, um, sorry, September 28th. Okay, uh, September 28th. So it must mention uh, those things. And, uh, okay, so that's uh, the protest, and the winner for the best protest will be 20 grams of fine gold. Um, now, to prove to me that you've done this, you must film, there's the camera there, <laughs> film uh, your protest, you can take pictures of it and, and make it into a, a short film. It doesn't have to be anything, an amazing film, it just, have to, it just has to convince me and uh, the other judges that um, it's uh, having an impact and that... Um, uh, yeah, you're really impacting people who are seeing it, and people are seeing it, and uh, uh, so yeah, there's no um, discrimination between people who do large, small, uh, expensive, or complicated, or simple protests. It could be a very simple idea that has the largest impact, and that would be the, the winner of the gold bar there, okay? So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting uh, how people approach this and uh, so, so, sort of uh, there's going to be a lot of creativity, uh, I assume. So that's going to be great. OK, so please do send me uh, a message that you're intending to uh, to do the contest. And so, yeah, make the film, send it to me by September uh, 28th. So uh, please send it by September 28th. Winners will be announced on October 13th. Okay, so that's the protest side. Now you have to make a film of, if you're going to do the banner, you have to, you have to make a film of, a short film, five minutes or less, of the banner. Okay, the standalone banner, which is a good prize, 
because this is a little less complicated well it has its challenges as well so again I've done drawings uh, not very nice but uh, now this is what I mean by standalone banner so that's a large you know three-story building or two-story building whatever building and there's a banner hanging from it with a nuclear symbol and the heading and subheading so again uh, whatever you like to do main heading um, Google on Fukushima Beach or it can, or it can be the subheading but uh, you know, have some some sort of unique uh, message of your own. Uh, you know, Google Plumgate, Google on Fukushima Beach, uh, or uh, radi radiation in the, in the Pacific um, could be the main headline. So the here, uh, this is a highway overpass. There's the road there. Uh, so yeah, again, nuclear symbol, um, any symbol symbol you like actually that uh, conveys the danger. Okay, so that's um, that's a standalone banner. And it, it might not be on a highway overpass, might not be on a building, but it may, you may choose some other uh, avenue to, uh, some other venue to, to, to do it. Now, if you want to do a standalone chalking, um, yeah, that's just a, <laughs> a road with trees. Perhaps it's, a, it's in the town square or somewhere prominent uh, where people will see it and uh, you know, be, uh, be impacted by the, your message. Again, it has to say mention on Fukushima Beach, and again, you know, headline you can choose, um, sub headline, uh, yeah. So uh, I hope that explains it. So film your standalone banner, uh, where it is, how it's impacting people, and uh, put it on YouTube. Uh, send it to me. The link to these addresses, got one of them, by. Um, September 28th uh, and uh, yeah you'll be considered for this 10 gram gold bar so yeah again with the banner as with the protest it's all about the impact um, if I what I can see from your video uh, about the impact you're making on uh, people who are seeing your your protest or your standalone banner so I hope that makes it clearer um, I'm sorry it's, it's it's a simple idea, but it's also a little bit complicated. I think that comes from, I don't know, having the option of a protest or a standalone banner and, you know, how to contact me and all. But, um, yeah, I hope that makes it uh, makes it clearer. Uh, uh, thank, well, congratulations to all everyone who's already entered. Um, regardless of whether I get 50 entries or not to either contest, I'm still going to award the best... Uh, best protest or banner because uh, it's um, people are getting ready already and I don't care if uh, I don't get 50 on each uh, if there's you know five people enter the protest and uh, you know one person enters the banner protest I'm still gonna give you this um, the, the first prize because uh, it's you know it's not really about um, you know it's it's these people have, have uh, um, go on to this effort to get ready and to do this so um, they're deserving of the uh, the reward and so the reward it really is for all of us um, you know uh, it's you know with the money and valuable things we have we're saving for our children's inheritance and um, you know by by uh, doing this we're uh, making sure that every every child has an inheritance so you know it really is a small reward for me to give to the deserving party or person, persons, because we all want our children to have an inheritance of something, and so you know, giving away 10, 20 grams, ten grams of gold, really is nothing compared to you know eternity of uh, having us survive through this um, horrible episode about which governments and uh, a lot of green groups are, for the most part, you know, not addressing you know not addressing in any um satisfactory way so it really is up to us uh again i hope that clears up clears it up uh, for all of you guys okay this is andrew Biss out and uh, i'll talk to you very soon fire any questions my way please participate count me in protest count me in banner look forward to your entries guys thank you